Hey there guys, this is 88 Shadow Angel here once again and today uh, I'm bringing you more of the Prospero stuff and today I'm bringing you uh, the one and only uh, Azek Araman uh, of the Thousand Sons, obviously. Um, <laughs> and the, the outcome of this model is it's prompted me to do a Thousand Sons army um and i can say that on you know in in the way of it's not a case of it's because of how their rules work because i have no idea how they work in 30k uh i only have like their 40k counterpart to kind of go as a judge on how they may work but who knows until uh until the book's been released and you can like properly look into that um but more to do with how the uh, how the army looks where once it's painted and things like that um because i've really fallen uh for this like shiny candy red armor with the gold uh because it's something really different um because obviously my blood angels are like a dark crimson and they are quite, you know, I, I prefer them to look a bit darker than um, how most people paint them. Uh, but in that respect, like I say, I kind of like this uh, colour scheme because it kind of gives that really beautiful kind of uh, mystic look with all the layers of silver or gold in this case uh, underneath the armour uh, using the gloss reds to build the layers up and it comes out really nice and i've really fall, fallen for uh like i say this color scheme and uh it's just deepened the love i have for thousand sons uh i love their like backstory and a load you know loads of their fluff and things like that and i can't wait to sort of uh delve more into to the units that get that hopefully will get released uh dreadnoughts etc etc but anyway that's for another time. Uh, today we have, like I say, Azek Araman, um, who is the chief librarian of uh, the Thousand Sons, uh, as well as being head of uh, the Corva Day, uh, which is a uh, like your chat, uh, your companies, but have their sect, uh, uh, sect of uh, different psychic energies and powers and teachings and all that goodness um <laughs> uh so i am basically just going to talk uh about how i achieved this model or achieve the look of the model i should say um so i'm gonna bring you in just a bit closer so let's just begin so i'll start obviously with the red because it is the most prominent thing on this model in terms of the uh overall look so it is basically started with gold. Uh, normally I'll start with go, uh, go up through the silvers and build silvers up. Uh, because this is Araman, I wanted him to have a slightly different uh, tone to the red. Uh, so I went with uh, this. Uh, so I went with the gold undercoat uh, and built it up. So it has that. So it's a really nice shiny gold underneath. Pretty much, as you see the gold here, is how it is underneath all the red um now i know a lot of people who, who do this kind of cooking go through um either tamiya clear red or forge worlds uh gloss red which i'm not sure um i did this through uh the uh, red gemstone paint from gw um to get this kind of look you'll need about three layers of it um you know fairly decent layers i'm not talking like thin coat you know uh some of these layers that i put on were quite heavy layers um but it's something i had to toy around with to get the levels right so i wasn't losing detail and things like that and it's come out really nice uh once you get used to it so i if you're going to try it i definitely suggest using a practice model uh to get the layering right and so you know how much to put on your brush things like that uh, I may do a tutorial with it in the future 
uh, kind of give you an idea. So, um, all in all, I uh, so yeah, so like I say, you want about three layers to get a really nice, uh, like candy red over the top. Uh, the golds are how I do my golds anyway, which is rep Retributor, Black Wash, uh, and then Highlight with uh, Liberator, just to give that final look. Uh, the whites are just Ceramite with uh, a black uh, null oil wash, and then picked back out with White Scar, a couple layers of White Scar. Uh, and then, yeah, then just build them up. Uh, now for the cape... Uh, the cape I wanted to do uh, something because I want to tie in the blues because uh, I really like uh, the blues and that on with in terms of this. Um, so with this, it was a base of Cantor. Where was it? Yes, it was a base of Cantor, uh, then followed by McCrag. Uh, then it went to. Oh, uh, it's Calgar, yeah, Calgar, that one, Calgar, uh, and then a f uh, very fine, fi very fine, um, do um, highlight of um, uh, uh, I believe Fenrisian, and then um, you want um, the blue. Um, McCrag blue, uh, McCrag blue wash or Gulliman blue wash. That's it, Gulliman blue wash uh, over the top, and it gives you this really nice sort of um, mysticky blue finish. Um, and this is basically all I did with the capes. Uh, the blue segments in there are basically done exactly the same, but the uh, final highlights a bit heavier just to obviously make it more of a stone than a, a bit of fabric. And yeah, uh, the stones in the middle, uh, as you can see, just going by there, were done really simply. Uh, that is just basically Cantor with um, uh, Cantor with a tiny bit of. Um, I will remember colours in a minute. Um, with a bit of uh, cal uh, Calgar. Uh, and then the inlet or the cutting of the runes on the stones are basically um, the oxide uh, paint, which is basically just filled in the, the gap and then hard coat over the top just to give them that kind of uh, that sh uh, sh shine. And that's basically all I did. Uh, fairly simple, but I think it comes as quite cool when you can actually see the runes and stuff. So, yeah. So, as for the model itself, I think it's uh, GW's done a really cool job with it. Uh, picking such an iconic character for well, it's essentially a, the, the box game. Because uh, I I didn't think it would be. I thought it'd be like one of the other sorcerers and uh, things like that. Especially when you know who, that the who the other guy is. <laughs> but um, but yeah, but no, I I really do like it, and it's I think it does uh, Araman justice and things like that. Um, so yeah, so there you go, guys. Uh, as always, uh, if there's anything I can help with in terms of painting uh, painting and stuff like that uh, as always drop your comments down below or message me over on Facebook on the Facebook page or even Instagram I'll take it I'll answer questions on there as well um, and yeah uh, I shall see you again next time and yeah thank you once again for watching as always thank you for subscribing as well and stay safe and I'll see you again soon Bye. Bye for now.